Good morning, traders. Well, U.S. stocks are broadly lower in Tuesday's session as another U.S. bank teeters on the verge of collapse and weak consumer confidence figures saw um, investors heading for the door. Though futures have uh, improved somewhat after the market closed on some great earnings out of Microsoft uh, and Google. Um, continuation of the banking jitters, we saw First Republic Bank plunge uh, to record lows after its earnings miss, uh, reporting record deposit outflows, seeing the stock price plunge 50% to all-time lows uh, and dragging the broader market down with it. The Russell 2000 took the brunt of it, just where the most of these mid-sized banks uh, are listed. Um, crashed almost 2.4% in the session as the worst performing major US index and a weaker than expected consumer confidence figure coming in at 101.3 versus an expectation of 104 also um, created headwinds for US equities. Uh, FX markets, uh, US dollar caught a bid on the back of a nervous market that saw safe haven flows. Dollar index looking to test the 102 level before finding some stiff resistance just below that. Um, the euro was uh, a victim of the stronger greenback. Uh, euro USD lost hold of the 110 handle, also wasn't helped by uh, a less hawkish tone from some ECB speakers, Lane and Villaroy in particular. Um, less, le certainly less hawkish than we've had recently from ECB officials. Um, and there's a turning in expectations too as the size of the next hike from the ECB uh, could be a 25 basis point rather than the 50 that was, uh, was pretty much penciled in not long ago. Um, despite strong US dollar, Japanese yen outperformed, uh, saw decent gains. Uh, that was based on basically safe haven flows, also a fall in US bond yields helping the yen along there. Um, and that came despite some dovish commentary for the new Bank of Japan Governor Ueda um, in the Asian session. So we saw the US dollar yen push past last week's lows and, and finding some support, before it found some support around that 133.37 level. Commodities, US crude oil uh, had, a, had a big drop in Tuesday's session. Um, seems determined to fill that gap from the, the gap up from the post OPEC plus production cut uh, that was a couple of weeks ago. Um, saw the 76 handle again and found some support around the same level it found on Friday and Monday, the lows there. A stronger US dollar and economic growth concerns obviously being the main drivers for the price of oil. Gold, bulls versus the bears, the battle of 2000 continued in Tuesday's session with gold again seeing volatility around this area. Uh, XAU USD briefly pushed through to the upside but was rejected to see the price sell around that 1997 level. So gold has traded around this 2000 level in a fairly tight range for almost two weeks now. So 2015 to the upside and 1970, the major levels to watch there. Uh, today's economic announcements, the, the main risk event will be the Q1 Australian CPI figures released at 11.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Time. The figure will be pivotal, I think, in next week's RBA rate decision where the futures market's currently pricing in around 80% chance of a hold. So a hot figure here would certainly see uh, those odds dramatically repriced and see some big moves in the Aussie dollar.